Right, it's done. Finally. <laughs> um, put the visor on, painted it red, and I put this white pinstripe on. Now, originally I was going to have the stripe uh, you know, come up around the edge there, but I couldn't really be asked to con I tried, but it was a pain in the backside trying to get it to contour that corner and then go up and around. It was just lo left with lots of little wrinkles that over time would have just made this graphic fall off. So I just went, nah, you're right. Just a nice straight line across and it cuts off in the uh, shape of the visor. So yeah, the reason why I didn't paint the white was because the weather's just been a pain on the backside for the past sort of two weeks. It's just been raining and wet. Like it's, you know, it's April for fuck's sake. It's supposed to be hot and dry and nice and I can get on and paint, but no, it's just wet and horrible. So um, I did what I could when I could, um, which meant really just priming it and painting it red. And then I thought, no, I'll just get a white. Bought, a, bought this roll of um, white pinstripes. So there's a lot of different sizes on there. Um, I can't remember what size I use. I think it's the uh, 1.3 millimeter. No, it'll probably be on that. I think it's 2.1 I used. Fits quite nicely under the, the lower light there. So anyway, that's all on, painted and wired up. And as far as I can tell, the physical truck is now done. Um, and the reason why this is a darker red doesn't match the cab is because when I painted the cab and the roof and the bonnet and the insert, the bulkhead, back in 2020, I mixed paints. And I didn't know I mixed paints until part way through doing it. Basically, I, I was using crimson red. I bought more cans. Uh, unfortunately, one of those was a cherry red. I didn't realise because it's the same lid and I didn't bother reading it. Um, I was even more of an idiot back then than I am now, so I just picked up the can and started spraying, and it wasn't until afterwards I realised it's got cherry red written on it, so it's a different shade, and it made this colour, and I've forgotten the ratio to the mixtures, so I can't mimic that red, which is a bit annoying. Um, so that, that's why I've gone with this dark red, basically everything below my hand is a dark red, the spoiler, that's, cause that, that was new last year, no, the year before, 22. So that's a dark red. And I've done the visor in that red as well. So at least it matches a red that's on the truck and not just another random shade of red. <laughs> so, yeah, you can probably see the top grill. I had to try and colour match that. and It's not quite the same, but uh, I got used to that now. But um, So, yeah, that's why it's a different shade of red. But the physical truck is now done. There's no more additions to put on it. Um, it's just a case now of plugging it into the computer and I wanted to uh, add a few features to it. Change. I've changed a lot of the sounds, the horns and stuff like that, put new songs on it. Um, I put a neutral switch on it now so I can switch it into neutral and then like rev it. Um, just a little extra feature really. My dad wanted it on his long line so I sat there and worked out how to do it. So I'll, I'll implement that on all of my trucks now I think. Just a little extra cool little feature. So... Yeah, um, the only physical thing I want to change, I've got a couple of small little graphics on the way, which I'll probably end up putting in the in the step boxes. Uh, I might put some here as well, we'll see when they arrive, how big they are, because I've bought them from a friend of mine in Germany. Uh, he adds a couple little go-in style, the Dutch movement, a little um, logo, and um, I asked where he got them from, and his mate, said, oh, I, I made them, I can make you some. So he's made me a few, I think 16 of them actually, because it was quite expensive to get them posted from Germany. Thanks, Brexit. So, um, yeah, I think he made me 16 actually in total, about eight quid. So that'd be all right, get them, put a couple on this one, a couple on the other trucks, a couple on that one, you know, so on and so forth. But, uh, yeah. Um, so the only other physical thing I want to change, other than the graphics, only a couple of small little stickers here and there, the brightness of the marker lights, if I just turn these on, see they're, they're very dim and it's a little bit annoying because I had them really bright when I was testing them. I've had a problem with these since I got them. The resistance is really weird. Um, I was running them when I was testing them on 9 volts on a 470 ohm resistor and they were nice and bright. However, Running them on the truck's voltage here, which is 7.4 volts, I'm currently using, I believe they're 120 ohm, and they are very dim. So I might try lower the resistance again. I've got a few 110s and I've got a few 90s, so I could try them and just see if they make them brighter. 
I'm very aware that if I go too low, Leo does go bang. And then I am foobard, to put it lightly. So I'm trying not to get too low on the resistance, but also I want to have it low enough so it allows enough current through so they're bright. I, in my head, that's the logic behind this. I could be talking completely out of bollocks, but that is, as far as I can tell, that's the logic behind it. But um, yeah, they're a bit dim. And the rest of the truck lights up quite nicely. I'll start the engine on it. So, got some new horns. I'll turn it down so you can hear me. Got the, uh, oh, I'll show you the Turkish, a Turkish whistle. That's an interesting word. I got it set up with a bit of a, like a function sequence, so I'll show you. So, flashes the spots, and then the red beacons come on, which are on a separate switch anyway, so. Yeah, and then the tag lift works with the, I'll turn the engine off so you can hear me, but. Got a tag working on a bit of an air sound plays as well. So that's the one thing about tag lifts I've noticed in this hobby is people put them on, but they don't they don't lower the servo speed, so it just goes. Whoop, whoop. And you think that's not realistic, is it? You don't see a tag lift going up and down within a second. You know, normally quite slow. Which is what I love about beer. You can set the speed and you can make it make a noise when the servo moves. So, of course, we've got the, uh, the red underglow as well. And the steps are underneath the front and the sides. So, yeah, it's um, it's pretty much there. Other than those lights at the top. And I've, I've got the, uh, the angel eyes, which on camera come out a bit different. And then, um, obviously, the normal main beam. So... Yeah, but other than the, the brightness of them, I think we're pretty much there. So um, I'm not going to make any more videos on this specifically. I want to put it to one side. What I do want to do next is I want to get the curtain cider. It's actually here. It's in my car in a minute because it's big and awkward and heavy. But what I want to do is put the new light bars on it. And I'll just show you them. I don't think I've shown you them yet. Right, so when Miro made me the top bar and the low bar... He also made me these. I asked him if he can make me these, and he went, yeah, no problem. These are to go on the curtain side trailer behind that truck to go underneath the pallet box. So we've got two, we've got the big ones here for the front pallet box. So they'll go roughly like that. And then we've got two back here for the rear pallet box, and the rear connects almost the entire width. So they go sort of like that. And um, basically we've got space for amber lights on the outer edge, red lights facing down, and on the front ones facing forwards, so we're going to have some white lights. Now, I'm going to paint the bars, I told him that, and he went, yeah, no worries. So he's made it so that the metal is ready for primer, just scuffed them up a little bit, and he's put all the lights in bags, and he's labelled them, so they're all the red ones, and then all the orange ones and then back here we've got a few a few little white ones i think he's included a spare of each and some some resistors and some little screws so yeah i'm gonna put these on so i need to test fit them first and drill the holes to mount them and then we'll paint these the dark red which is the same as what the trailer pallet boxes are and then yeah they'll look pretty cool i think so that's the next step and i've got a truck and trailer combo ready for Devon show which isn't far away Devon truck show isn't that far away which is weird we're in April already so I'm gonna get on with that and get that lot sorted hopefully for the next video now I'm away next week um, I won't have time to film or edit anything I'm, I'm yeah it's I've got a very busy couple of weeks <laughs> I've been away a few days this week even actually so bear with me there won't be a video next week I'm hoping one after the week after, which will be the curtain side are done. So, uh, yeah, but I'll show you these on there when I can. And, uh, yeah, it will look cool behind that one. So, hopefully I can just alter the resistance in those things, getting brighter. 
and um, I'll put the stickers on. I'll show you that lot when I get the trailer done. So thank you for watching, and yeah, I'll um, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.